Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome quad bunk bed travel trailer that's amazing quality and built extremely well. This is the 2023 Heartland Sundance model 294BH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Heartland and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys the awesome Heartland Sundance. Really one of the most underappreciated travel trailers in the industry, especially when you see so many of the awesome features that they have to offer. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. good morning. Good morning. Yeah guys, we are recording early this morning, so it's not too hot yet. And I'm so excited to take a look at this Sundance. Um, there's some really nice features in it, but I love the floor plan in it. And what I love, Will, this is the last day in Tampa that yeah. we're filming towables. Right. So in two weeks, you guys are gonna see us someplace hopefully a lot colder. Yeah. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is the Heartland Sundance 294BH. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet six inches. The dry weight is 6,399 pounds and the hitch weight is 860 pounds. Okay. This is the Heartland Sundance. This is an awesome, good quality travel trailer. Right. Right up front here, power tongue jack, propane tanks go here and your batteries go here, okay? Okay. Now this is a molded fiberglass front cap. It is painted. I like the little graphic package that they got going on there. Sundance Ultralight, very, very good build. And then right here, it's not like a diamond plate, but it's still a rock Kind of that similar, yeah. Exactly. Coming on down the side here, we do have very nice pasture storage. Look at all that. Yeah, that looks awesome. Solar uh, disconnect right there, inverter prep, everything's very nice. I like the light on the inside and you even have the Lippert stabilizing jacks. Nice. Now, because this is Heartland, they do use Asdell, Will. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Right. Very nice. Coming on down the side, you can see that we have a huge power awning with LED lights. Very nice solid steps right here from Moride. And this sticker shows that it does have the extended season package, which means it has the heated and enclosed underbelly and forced air duct heat to the underbelly. There you go. What more, what more can you ask for, I Will? I hear you. Right here we do have power and coax if you want to have a TV on the outside. And then here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then look at these tires. Well, they're trailer kings. I love those. ST225-75R15 with your traditional axles there. Finishing up, you got a spray port if you need some water access to the outside. And then here we have power. Okay. Nice little suburban cooktop. How you doing? Yeah. And then here, the no-name refrigerator brand. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. I like those little fridges. I do too. Coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. This RV is prepped for the on-the-go Lippert ladder right there. And right there is uh, prepped for the Furion backup camera. I'm loving it. Yeah. Right here, Will, 30 amp unit, okay. That's the hookup there. Cable and satellite hookup. Right there, you got a 10 gallon DSI water heater. And right there, well, they, they got away with it by the skin of their teeth. Just barely. But not a bad place to hook up your black and gray tank. Okay. Look at this nice slide out. It's the rack and pinion slide out. Very nice. It's pretty big slide. It sure is. They need that. Coming on over here, there's another place to uh, dump your gray water. City water connection, a black tank flush. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And then here is the other side of that storage. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, Will, the outside of the Sundance looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All 
Alright. Okay, starting up front. You got the bedroom here. Kitchen right behind that. Living area, dining area here. Bathroom towards the back. And then all the way in the back is that quad bunk room. Yes, sir, Will. We are actually going to start in that quad bunk room. But first, let's give a big shout out to Lippard. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. And we're back, just like that. Coming on back here, Will, this is very neat. It is. So to have a travel trailer this light that can sleep this many, that's what makes it appealing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Plenty of better bunk rooms, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, but they're going to be a lot longer mm -hmm. and a lot heavier. Because they're going to have a slide back here or Maybe something even like that. two slides. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right here, bunk beds up top, 275 pounds each. This actually flips up out of the way if you want to have more headroom at that dinette nice. here. Nice. This little dinette, it does drop down to make a bed. But a lot of people are going to keep this up for their kids to play Legos right. or cards or their little computer games or whatever. Mm -hmm. To actually have a room like this where they can spend time in it and not just sleep in it is pretty cool. Right. Not only that, you got another traditional bunk bed here. These beds are a little bit wider. And then look at all of that storage. That's great storage down You're there. You're still able to get storage even though there's a little outside kitchen. I right. love that. Also, in all of these lights here, they all have USBs as well. Nice. So your kids, they can uh, be charging up their uh, little iPads yeah. and everything. Right here, you do have a place to mount the TV. Okay. And then here's just going to be your little bit of a storage and some drawer space and all that. Exactly. Well, are you finishing my sentences for yeah. me? Thank you. You're welcome. Right there. Coming on out of the bedroom, the one thing that I want to mention that's the most important when it comes to these bunk rooms is this right here. A pocket door. Yeah. Or just a door at all. Right. To shut those little rascals up. We love the children. We love the children. Will, look at this. Hey, listen, you can love your children, but you can love the door as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, loving the door doesn't take away from the love right. of the children. Right. You know? You're on vacation. Just you love know your what I'm saying? All right. Peace and quiet a little bit, too. There you go. Right here, Will, here's something else that I love. The very nice slow rise shades. Yeah, that is nice. I do love these all the way around. Nice big windows. Good looking balances. It's like, it's like, um, not like a cloth, but like the same, like almost like leather with a piece of wood trim. Right. Right here's the dinette. Good size. Yeah. You know, um, I don't want to say two big people can sit here, but two mediums, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, it works well right here. You can see all the different floor plans of the Sundance. So if you like this style, but you like a different floor plan, reach out to us. We got you covered. We got you. This also does drop down to make a bed well. And it's a comfortable dinette. Yep, there's storage underneath as well. No, nice. Not like traditional drawers or anything. No, I like that. I kind of like that too, yeah. You know, a lot of times the drawers are like a big pain in the butt they to are. get to, you know? Yeah. And then right over here, well, is the middle living. Okay. We do have a very nice sofa, and it is trifold. Oh, I didn't even mention the uh, the, the light, light fixture. Right there. Just 
Just like that. Nice. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. And when you don't have your one, when you do, they people can still walk through. Right. And they can get to that bathroom. Right? Yes, sir. And then go like this. And then what's very nice, well, I'm gonna sit in this sofa. Oh yeah. You can definitely tell it's comfortable. And it's sitting directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Nice. Right there, it's the Sansui TV. It does swivel. Right. So you can hit the different angles. You got a sound system right there. And a little mantle and a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. There you go. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I was trying to get you. <laughs> By the way, there's another USB right there. Oh, very nice right there. Oh, wow. MSRP on this unit here, stock number 276522, is $57,962. Will, that is MSRP. Today, there's a sale price on okay. one of these on the website. Okay. Nor guys, listen, normally we don't have sale prices. Jen has a formula to figure right, out right. sale prices. But today we have this one 31% off. Dang. That's almost an $18,000 discount to a sale price of $39,999. That's not bad at all. That is a fantastic price. And Will, as fantastic as it is, I know we can always get people a little bit of a better price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash masscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me any way you can. Our team is here and they are dedicated to helping you guys get the absolute best price in America. That's right. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this kitchen is laid out kind of weird. Yes. So start over here with the Norcold refrigerator. Okay. This is a compressor fridge. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna come over here to the like real kitchen area. Yes, the rest sir. Of the kitchen area. Got storage up top. Nice little backsplash. Big single bowl sink. Very nice. With the cutting board insert and storage right here. All right. Coming back up top. Nice little graystone microwave there. Okay. Graystone range hood there. Hood range. And three burner suburban cooktop right here. Nice. Not solid surface countertops. You do have a nice oven there and a drawer underneath. Now Will. this oven is yes. also an air fryer, which is really, really Heck cool. Heck yeah, I love that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you guys yeah. haven't tried an air fryer yet, Put some frozen chicken right. tenders in there. That's the best. Did you show underneath the sink? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And then right here, you do have a nice, really big pantry. You got power in there, mm. co hook, and some of your controls. Right. The RV and the slide and all that. And that doesn't need to be pantry space, but, no. I, but I would say that'd be pantry space yeah. for sure. Cool. Perfect. Oh, stand to that shower. shower. Okay. Yes, sir. We almost forgot about the bathroom, I Will. Know. That's like the most important part. It too. really, really is. Okay, you got a big step up here. You do have a skylight, but it's definitely not enough to, to pass this. The width is good, the depth is fine. And what I'll say is if you're six foot, you know, two, three, four inches shorter than me, you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, but not, you know, it doesn't work for me. There you go, well, come on out of there. Okay. It is a tight bathroom. It is. We do have liquefied, which is sitting on the, sh on the uh, countertop right there. The absolute best black tank treatment in the industry available in liquid format and drop-in pods you can get it at primepoopposition.com there you go and just put it in right there out of the way nice little sink a little bit of storage here you hear that this is not a prime pooping position womp 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 it's okay well to wrap up this RV, we have a very nice bedroom. I love the sliding pocket door. I am able to walk through on this side 
I got power right here. I got power on this side as well. A nice little cubby with USB in there. Okay. And then up top, you have storage all the way across. Yes, two AC units. That's very nice. Yes. Uh, closet space here, USB, and it does attach to the bed. Yep. And then, yeah, nice little side table. And a little bit of storage right here and okay. under the bed. Yeah. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the Sundance. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? You want to do three things we like? Yes. Okay. First thing I'm going to like, I'm liking what they're doing with the platforms. Yeah, I agree. Underneath there, underneath there. You know, the storage is always so limited. Leave it open. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when it's open, you don't have the drawers or whatever. Right. So it's a lot more space. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Will, what's number two? You touched on this a little bit, but I'm going to say definitely this dinette. Talk to me. Um, <clears throat> this is a trailer for families. So if you have like four, this is perfect size. Like two adults, two kids. Yeah. And everybody's really comfortable. Yeah. They made it like... So what I was thinking is, I wonder if normally they cut it like right here. Oh, okay. Just that extra little bit really helps a lot. For sure. It always does, Will. Yes. It always does. That's number two. And then number three for me, Will, I am going to save this back bunk room. Quad bunks, quad sleeping area. And to have this for the kids to play right, right. Legos or Uno or, you know, checkers or whatever. Yeah. I poker. like that feature. What? Poker. Poker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um. Baccarat, you know, yeah. whatever they want to play, they totally got it. Well, and again, to combo that, you know, again, the open storage is really yeah. nice. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we hate about this unit. Okay. May I? Sure. As much as I love this room. I was thinking the same thing. It is very small and tight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, this is for the person that cannot pull a heavy bunk room. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you got that three quarter ton truck or that dually, whatever, mm -hmm. get the bigger one with the slide out room. Right, right. But if you can't do that and you got like an F-150 and you need to be at 6,500 pounds dry. Or probably what you'll see a lot is like um, a Suburban or a Tahoe, you know. Yeah, but we don't recommend that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they can tow like 9,000 or something. I don't know. We have to look it up. Still, always, always know before you tow. Yeah. But yes, well, I do agree. Um, and so... You, you gotta make do with what you do. That's right. That's number one. Will, what is number two? Um, number two is I do not at all like this kitchen setup. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah, I hate how the TV, like the fridge is on the other side of the TV. And you really just don't even have a lot of closet or uh, countertop space or cabinet space either. Right. So Now here's what I would say. This kitchen works for me because we don't cook. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. We, like, if, if you're not cooking... Yeah, you're good. It's a fantastic kitchen. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? That's number two. And then number three, well, this bathroom is just that big old plastic toilet. Yeah. I'm rubbing on all sides. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Um, And it's just very small. But again, you got to make compromises when you got that big family in a yeah, unit like for this. for sure. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we have an incredible sale price on this. And if you guys are interested in getting it, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked everything down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can because our team will get you the absolute best price in America. Will, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, this is definitely a great travel trailer for families and like matt said especially if you don't have like a huge truck to tow with make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like and three things you dislike make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and will we'll see you next time